Hello everyone, Adam here for the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to my Russian Empire on the Great War Redux mod. Now in the last episode we did go ahead and create the Slavic Brother- Oh, the Slavic League actually. I thought it was the Slavic Brotherhood. Oh no, oh well, we're calling it the Slavic Brotherhood from now on. That is his unofficial name. Anyways, spy time. Yegor Forlov, you can be our spy. We'll go ahead and form a radio interception group now. We'll start upgrading that. Hoping Bulgaria is going to finish this war with the Ottomans, because I really don't want to have to join in. Now, the East Asian administration. What are you up to now? East Asia becomes a puppet. Oh, yep, there, there it is. There's East Asia and the Max Mia. Oh, sorry. No, that's... Wait, what? We have New Guinea. Where's East Asia? Um, ah, East Asia is literally just there. Okay, cool. Now they're doing the Cameroon administration. So Cameroon and Togo is going to be free. Then we're going to have Tanzania, State of Southwest Africa, the Colonial Legion. What on earth are you doing? Oh, why? Why are you so weird, Germany? Why are you doing this? It's not going to be a great war, is there? Hungary's probably over here going, what on earth are they doing? Reapproachment with the Entente. Italy has chosen their side. They're being historical. Oh, we're just waiting for Constantinople to fall now, and it looks like uh, that'll be the end of the war, hopefully. So if not, I'm going to have to join in and deal with them myself. Kuwait and Qatar problem. Qatar agreements. What is this? Stabilize the Arabian Peninsula, stop religious schism. Al Sanusi revolt. Afghanistan. Puppet to British Raj. Turkish protectorate. Okay. Take the despair defense, I think. Titanic arrives in New York. Wait, the Titanic didn't sink? I'm not sure the ship's. Okay, right, right, right. Unsinkable HMRS Titanic completes its first voyage in less than six days. The route passed from British Southampton through Cherbourg in the North Atlantic Sea. Ship's captain Edward Smith said that it was necessary to reconsider the further route in order to ensure the safety of the ship because of the risk of collisions with icebergs. He also noticed, uh, noted that he doesn't doubt the strength of the hull. The design bureau is obliged to ensure adequate safety on such a large ship. The White Star Line Company has already announced a new era of transatlantic passenger traffic in which one of the largest Olympic-class ships will be used at the moment. Is the Titanic really unsinkable? Well, for now, we are not going to know that is the case, since it didn't sink. The Russian Empire will be known as the Russian Empire. Guess event in Russian Revolution, 200 political power. We've dealt with the Duma crisis, so we don't have to worry about uh, anything occurring because of that. Uh, we'll go ahead and research maintenance companies. Uh, we have four of political power right now. Silent Workhorse seems like a good choice. Um, Gregory Rasputin... Um, He's not dead, political power gain plus 15 as well. He's a silent workhorse as well. We could get him. Because none of the other ones really. Yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get Rasputin. That just makes me think of the song now. Um the revolution. Oh we did railways. Yeah, that that'll be gone soon. Actually I thought it was gonna be gone now. Yeah, we banned the trade unions. Yeah, we, we banned trade unions. Um, okay. Yeah, we banned trade unions. Why do we still suffer from that? Oh, that's the third revolution. It's not the trade unions. It's not the trade union one. It's gone. 
Bulgaria, am I going to have to send you volunteers? Which I cannot do until 40% world tension. Romania, I think you're the only one fighting them. Because Serbia's got what they wanted. Support National Gendarmerie. Great Serbia, the Serbian League. Form Balkan Nation. The Balkan Kingdom. It's pretty cool. Chinese Empire's capitulated to form Yugoslavia. Oh ho ho, they could do that. If they controlled all of that land. Integration into Bosnia. And liberate the Aurelian region. If I've said that correctly. The Russian Revolution. You did everything for the opposition to raise a rebellion order to overthrow the monarchy of Nicholas II. God save the Tsar. Wait, what? But we didn't overthrow the Tsar. Treaty of the Three Emperors. The threat of revolution is gone. So we've just got three more kind of national spirits to deal with. Where is the one for dealing? Ah, the new Pride of Fleet gets rid of the Toshima humiliation. So I think once I do have to do that, more than 85% for the SRN. Hmm, okay. Um, again, we could rush that, but I feel like we should rush the construction too. Uh, we are spending a lot of time on military factories right now, which is grand. Get production on all of our things going. Bulgaria, can you hurry up and win that, please? Dock in Dalmatia, Imperial Research uh, Department. They're consolidating the Entente. Emperor Miji is dead. Russian Empire gains a diplomatic bonus, opinion of France. They're probably going to do the Triple Entente. Possibly. I don't think the UK is going to go elsewhere. Ottoman money for Qatar. So you just gave them Qatar. Okay, it's an interesting development. Let's go up to partial mobilization. Don't know why early mobilization has been changed to the pistol for this, but I like it. I like it a lot. I like how that's an artillery piece as well. Um, industrial concern. What do we actually have going on in here? Infantry expert. We have fleet logistics, cavalry. Specialists are just. Oh, I'd rather have experts. Nicholas the second for uh, army morale. I don't know why he's that, because he wasn't exactly the best at giving speeches. Slavic League will now be known as a Brotherly Alliance. Return of the King. Let's do it, because we've got the 86%. 100% stability. It's just a shame we're suffering from the 25% loss in war support. Um, probably got to United and Individable next, and then we'll probably work down... These three focuses get rid of the outdated railways. We could grab. Oh gosh, you've got to work on these three, four to get to here. That's five focuses to get to that. One, two, three, four, five, six to get to that. That's fine. Plenty of time to get through them. Um, let's research the Austin. Germany is actually going to sign a non-aggression pact with us, which I'll happily accept. The Republic of Cameroon. That's a nice flag, and the Togonese. Well, they're called Togo here, but that was what the Togonese Republic, Papua New Guinea. Um, what happened to East Asia? The Legation Cities! Oh, wow! That's pretty cool. And obviously, since they got all the... Oh, I really do like that. That is pretty cool. The Legation Cities are here. Gosh, this mod would be great, actually, for, like, if you wanted to do the idea of playing through several different mods, like if you had, a, you can kind of set up the world of Kaiserreich in this. Some certain parts of it, like the legation cities, for example. Restore the nation. Army corruption. Oof. Ah, it just gives them dockyard speech. Uh, speed. Oh! Signatories of the Tokyo Berlin Pact are required to join Germany or Japan in the event of a colonial war. Great. So, if you start a war with Japan, you're going to be at war with Germany. If you start a war with Germany, you're going to be at war with Japan. Not great at all, really. It's all well. Let's grab the infantry expert. 
let's grab, I think we're going to go for the army organization expert in there, Lord, Lord Korniloth. Return to the king. George has taken control of the House of Windsor. And they've joined us. The UK is in the Brotherly Alliance. Fantastic. France is by themselves. I'm hoping the UK doesn't actually end up joining them. Um, Persian campaign. Hmm. German Confederation offer, offers investment. Oh, you're trying to destabilize everybody. I do not like that. You're even going to support Japan. I'm surprised you haven't left yet. Oh gosh, this is going to be a very weird world we're going to be in. The Ottomans are still fighting the Bulgarians. Look how young Ferdinand looks. Still got the same hat that he always wears. How adorable. And we have 26 divisions in that template. I think it's about time we actually check these out because I didn't do that last episode. And artillery, artillery. Let's get CS 4000 back. It's fine, we're working on things. Still got two years before the World War is going to kick off. Wait, what? Oh no! Oh, Great Britain's at war with the Ottomans as well. Um, oh, stuff this. I might as well join in. Bloody end it quicker. Oh, and it means I can actually get Bulgaria back into the faction. Welcome back. Now, that doesn't mean you can get greedy again, right? Don't think you need more land after this. This is when the Ottomans join the Germans. Um, any political actions? Might as well grab the war support one. If the UK managed to join them without setting them off, then I could certainly join in. Oh, the cent Persia joined the Central Powers. Oh, well, you know, to take out the Germans, all I have to do is declare war on Austria-Hungary. That's all we really have to do. There's still 24,000 good shot. Oh, dear. Paul Constantinople. How easily that was achieved with our assistance. Right, let's see what this is. That's it. Repair the Suez Canal. Who blew up the Suez Canal? Right, let's um, let's grab national entrepreneurship. Don't know where those decisions have came, but uh, we don't actually have them. Let's try and circle these divisions here. Make things easier for ourselves. We crossed over the uh, the Strait, the Bosphorus. This is the Bosphorus, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Yeah, the Bosphorus Strait. Always have to make sure. Don't know why. Ah, yes, encirclements galore. Just help assist there. You can just push on down to the Baghdad. German equipment agreements. Oh gosh, don't don't do that just yet. We'll grab the army regrouping. How many men have we lost in this? Well, we've only lost two k. We have came in and killed three point nine k. Oh no, you're about to get encircled. Yeah, that was maybe a bit stupid actually. Maybe you can run to meet up with the UK before they catch you. Oh no, they've caught you off guard as well. No, don't die, don't die, no! Oh, that's what you get doing for sending them in without really thinking anything over at all there. Subject demonstrations. Oh, we may able be able to save them. Possibly. Oh, we have. We have saved them. Good on us. It looks like we're about to break over here as well. 
well, sometime soon. You need to remember that this is World War One. It's not as easy to break everybody as it usually is. Wait, oh, we have military access to Iran. What are you, what are you plebs doing? UK is doing very well down there. Coup in Serbia? <gasps> no. Oh, that'd be a Putnik. Proto-fascist. Russian advisors. Oh, you're welcome. Welcome for our glorious Russian advisors. You're very welcome. Do you want to get to Ankara? That may actually capitulate them. And as for you, get in behind them. Get in behind them. Show them who's boss. Let's go ahead and get the Mosin Nagant M 1907. I think M must stand for model. Well done, dude. You're a genius, is what people are thinking right now. Ah, we kind of got to work on it. That's sad times. Not going to grab the cavalry. Don't really see. Actually, I'm not going to grab anything right now. Right, what's better? The, no uh, the Noble Partnership um, or um, the Vaga Trading House? Vago, sorry. That's electronics. That's synthetic. We'll go for the, uh, the Noble Partnership. Get some British capital. Two civilian factories, five stability. Oh, 36 and 27 oil. More than 100 factories. Oh, done. We've got 101 now. Uh, Anchor has fallen. It's now Izmir that is the capital. We have finally crossed the crossing. We have crossed the strait. We have crossed it. And the Ottomans are about to capitulate. Yep, there they go. So, let's have a wee look. Sardamal Bulgaria actually has a, a, a core claim on that. Where are they currently sitting? So, East Thrace. Let me just um, pass and see what we're going to do with this. Who's the Emirate of Neja? Is it the Emirate of Neja with anybody? I don't think so. What I'm actually going to do is Bulgaria can have Constantinople. Um, I don't think I have any claims on any of the Turkish territory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give... Great Britain control of Iraq and, you know, Syria... Lebanon, Jordan, yeah, all of that. They can have that territory. And then I shall go ahead and take the rest of Turkey. There we go. So, that's a nice little stretch. Emirate of Nej is not in anyone's faction. Now, we could take out Persia. Actually, Persia is with the Germans. Can I do that? The only issue with that, that means we've got the flipping they put troops on their border. Right, let's actually just redistribute some troops now. And we're starting to get troops for down here. What we'll do, in fact, is we'll just put that up and just have them in positions. I kind of feel like I should return Romanian territories to them. Just to be nice. Shame Greece doesn't want it. Oh my gosh, Constantine the first hat. That is absolutely amazing. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably spend another year building ourselves up. Claim, what's the sign? Okay, Chinese campaign, German investments. Oh my gosh, Germany could get... American campaign. All right, they're not going to ally with the Americans, but I don't like how this is going. <laughs> 55 to 234 divisions. Hang on, I don't even know if they'll get themselves in a two-front war. Like, it's not very likely it's going to happen, is it? Is World War One even going to kick off? What I might actually do is I might not actually build tons of divisions to deal with um, Iran. I might just try and let the UK do most of the work. I'll defend my parts of the front. I have so much political power, man. It's coming up my ears. It's coming up my ears. After war, estimated enemies. Okay, that's fine. Do, 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 do. Captain Ministry. Why the hell not? 
Yeah, we need to complete the agrarian reform. That is what we're going for. British capital now. Influence in the Balkans. You have no influence. Austria announced Balkan strategy. Serbian terrorist organiza organizations will be destroyed. Archduke Franz Ferdinand won't be killed. Oh. Austria announced the Balkan strategy. Well, excuse me. In recent years, Austria has been pursuing an aggressive policy towards the Balkan states. The Emperor intends to weaken our influence on the peninsula and subjugate Serbia and its allies. Since we are an unofficial defender of orthodox countries, we must respond to the Austrians on their provocations. I am ready to defend my allies. Please do not spark a war right now. Hopefully that means they can't do this. We need 750,000 anyways. The Austrian Empire. All right, okay. <laughs> they just become Austria. Screw the Hungarians in this, they just become Austria. Right, so we need to kind of resolve this. Garrison reinforcement. I think what we'll possibly do is we'll puppet Turkey. <sighs> Release these nations, what the hell? Release nation, release his puppet. There we go, the Ottoman Empire, the lovely puppet that they are. And that further weakens the, uh, reduces the front, not weakens the front, reduces the front we have to cover. Joe, if I actually plop artillery in that, it should resolve some of our gun issues, but it's gonna increase our artillery issues. In fact, that almost resolved the guns completely. Um, how many cavalry divisions have we got? 29 cavalry divisions. My gosh, why have we got so many? I wouldn't mind having 24. They also need upgraded. And they also need artillery. We have 26 of these, which, which are going to have to go, which is going to set us back again. Yeah, we've actually got guns right now. A thousand days of sort of artillery issue. Right, there's more some factories coming to us from that. North Caucasus oil basin. Let's go ahead and grab that. I, I don't understand who, why the Suez Canal got blown up because the Egyptians had control of it. So I, I'm kind of confused at why they've just went, you know what, uh, yeet, and just blew up. Right, let's spin those because I need to get all the new divisions back onto that. So, bam and bam. No, that's wrong. Um, let's grab the industrial concern. Hmm, I could never get rid of the Tashima humiliation before going to war. First flight across the Mediterranean Sea. What can I grab here? Aggressive assault would be grand. Offensive doctrine. And charismatic. I'm not going to grab that this time around. Charismatic. Krasnov. Gorilla fighter, I'm not going to bother. Aggressive assaulter, offensive doctrine. Well, the wee Austin's done. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and get the artillery too. And what's in here? Armor research speed. I'm going to wait until extension of the Putilov factory. Ah, we do get it. Good. I was like, do we even get that? Mexico has capitulated. Didn't even realize they were currently in a civil war. I think what we'll do is we'll spend a little bit more time building up some more civvies. So another six of them. And we'll build another batch of military factories. Um, can we, we get, get some civvies from Denise, don't we? One civvy. 
one semi. We get one semi. Um, the Moscow Automotive Society, which grants motorization, motorization research speed plus 10, motorized production cost minus 5. Two semis there. Some stability as well, infrastructure. Good, 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 good. Um, infrastructure from a designer. Right, the AMO, 70 days for that. Guaranteeing them. Did they do the. What were they up to again? Protector of Europe. You can shove that up your arse. I thought they were doing some. Oh. Claim, claim that. Oh gosh. The Belize trial. Right, 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 right. The world has been closely following the Jewish uh, po pogroms in Russia. Foreign press was shocked after what happened in Belarus, Odessa, and in a number of other areas of the Pale of Settlement. Once again, the Jewish question is the spotlight of Russia and the entire civilized society. Uh, Tresben Medel Belize is accused of committing a ritual murder of a Russian child, and despite grumblessness of the evidence presented, he can be punished. However, private investigation proves Belize's innocence and believes that the murder of the child was disguised as a mythical ritual so that no one would find out the true motives of the unknown criminal. Court decision can cause new uh, pogroms in Russia but also completely ruin international authority. The press is waiting for the results of the trial. I'm going to go for justify. I'm going to try to see what happens if I don't actually kill him. Oh. Italy. And it's in the Rome Pact. Agree with the opposition. Um, punish the Ottomans. Oh, don't you dare do that. Don't you dare, because then I'm going to fucking take you down. Oh. Right, that's that's always great. Um, the communists are at war with our guys. Turkey, we, I don't think you're going to let me join in, are you? It's a civil war. We do have a reorganized army now, so, you know, still the sick man of Europe. And they died. There we go. Well done. Well done, Ottomans. You done well, Mehmed. You done well. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I shall be back very soon for some more. Until then, take care. Cheer bye for now.